After 40 some odd years uh, of being here, I never had no water, no nothing in the house. Uh, but it seemed that I did mostly all wind damage. For the first time since Storm Sandy struck, 84-year-old Vito Aloisio is getting a glimpse of the devastation done. After four decades and countless memories of happier times, the sight of Sandy's aftermath hurts. What are you going to do? <laughs> but this is our summer home. Kids love it. And uh, we love Chalka Beach. We've been here a long time and people are great. And that's it, just got to rebuild again. Something his neighbors have already done. This beachfront home only feet away was fixed after Irene. And now Sandy's surge ripped the front right off of the home, exposing the kitchen, living room and more. Worse damage than Irene did. Spent 75,000 to fix that house, now it's gone. The cleanup is well underway. Streets still being cleared of the sand. Sandy pushed out from the sound. Many here still remain in the dark. Yeah, we have about 45% of the town still without power. Two thirds of that is our well water community. So no power equals no water, which makes the recovery center so important. That's at the high school where police, firefighters and other volunteers have been handing out water, meals and even offering a warm shower and place to charge computers and smartphones. God bless the people who help us.